Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So today what I'd like to be speaking to you about is about some of the experiences that you have as an empath. So I've been having a number of experiences with people, I suppose slightly challenging experiences with some people. And I was talking to someone today, and I don't know if you've ever had those conversations where as you discuss something, you get a deeper clarity around it. Well, that's what happened to me today. I was explaining that this one particular person who um, I really love very dearly, but whenever we sort of interact or whatever else, I feel very judged. Like I don't meet their expectations, well, not their expectations, but that I don't conform to the way that they would like me to. And as I was discussing this, I realised that it wasn't actually about what they thought about me, but what I was picking up on was most likely their thoughts about themselves. And I looked at a number of other scenarios in my life at the moment, and that made a lot of sense as well. So that whilst in these relationships, I have been feeling that, that what they were projecting was what they thought about me. Actually, what they're projecting is what they think about themselves. And that shifts everything. It shifts how I interact with them. It shifts how I respond to the way that they are. And it shifts how, I suppose, I'll create the relationship into the future. And for anyone who is empathic, I thought this would be something that would be really interesting for you to understand and know. Because as an empath, it can be quite hard to sort of pull apart the experiences that you're sort of taking in as you're kind of being with people. I know sort of the journey for me to sort of understand it, what an empath kind of is or how it experiences life has not always been a smooth one. <laughs> as a child, I quite often thought that what people were going through was caused by me, that I was the reason for them experiencing what they were experiencing in life. Um, as I've got older, I've realised obviously that is not the truth. And today, I mean, I'm sure it might be something that you already know, but it's something that I thought was quite interesting. So how would I deal with people who are, who I'm picking up on what they're experiencing of themselves? For starters, there'd be a much deeper understanding of them, a much deeper support, connection, um, compassion, a lot more compassion for what they're experiencing. Because instead of feeling like I'm the one who's triggering their experience, instead it's just their experience that I'm experiencing with them. If that makes any sense. So instead of me being responsible for something, I'm just an observer. And as an observer, I have no responsibility for what they're experiencing or how they're experiencing it. And it changes how I then interact with them. So I suppose the first part in understanding it and grappling with it is a is accepting and, and um, acknowledging what is actually happening within that relationship. The second step would be understanding that I'm not responsible for what they're feeling and experiencing that it's something that's within them. And that would allow me to create that distance, that separation, to be an observer rather than um, a participant in the, in the movie. So it's a bit like watching, the, watching a movie and instead of being in the movie as one of the characters, I'm stepping out of the movie and being somebody who's watching the movie. Um, and that's the sort of, I suppose, a huge difference really in how you interact with a relationship. The next step, would be, I suppose, observing how they, their way of behaving around me and understanding that that does not, is not hinged on who I am, but on who they are. And when I understand that it's who they are, I don't have to react and become defensive, um, angry, hurt, upset, whatever other emotion, embarrassed, humiliated, none of those things are important because it's not about me, it's about them. So when they present a certain behaviour, whether it is a demeaning behaviour, whether it is um, a lack of respect or whatever it happens to be, I don't have to take that personally. I can then decide, well, I can see that it actually has nothing to do with me. And I think that we're lucky as empaths because we get a greater understanding for the person that we're dealing with. And then because we have that greater understanding, the actions rather than the reactions to what's going on in that relationship come from a place of compassion and understanding. And whenever we understand somebody and we truly respect that person, whatever, however they perceive our actions, on a deeper level they'll truly understand. They'll truly feel seen and truly feel cared for, loved, 
appreciated and it can transform the entire relationship. If you enjoy these episodes, then please like and subscribe and share them with someone else if you fancy, that would be really appreciated. Um, I also do coaching and I have online courses all to do with self-awareness and developing consciousness and you'll find links to all of those in the show notes below. Have a fabulous week and I'll catch you next week. So much love from me to you. Bye-bye.